Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking, oh what a surprise, about Nintendo Switch 2. And the reason we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2 is actually because we have another rumor. And this rumor is about a massive major game coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And I'm going to tell you, it's coming to Nintendo Switch 2 because this company has seen a lot of success bringing older versions of prior games in this big franchise over to Switch. That's right, all of us out there that bought these games on Switch, well, you got yourself to think for why we're gonna get this brand spanking new one coming to Switch 2. Now, again, this is technically just a rumor, so you should take it with all the appropriate levels of salt, regardless of how reliable the sources are on this. It's just, hey, until things are actually announced by the company and confirmed in a Nintendo Direct or whatever else, should just remain skeptical. I see a lot of you out there going, well, if Nintendo didn't say it, then I'm just not gonna believe it. And I, dude, I get it, right? Like, if that's all you really care about, why are you watching videos like this? Why are you even clicking? Why are you even watching? Nintendo content creators who cover news and stuff. Just go follow Nintendo. They'll let you know, right? If you if you're subscribed to Nintendo's YouTube channels and their social medias, just follow all of that and you'll get everything directly from Nintendo. So if that's what you want, then why are you here? I don't understand these complaints. Doesn't really matter. I do want to remind you guys that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers as well. So I would love it if you're enjoying this content. And you want to stay up to date on the latest rumors and news around Nintendo Switch 2 and other major Nintendo stuff. Stick right here at Nintendo Prime. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this because I find this to be quite interesting. We're talking about Persona 6. So first off, why the heck are we even talking about Persona 6? Well, because Spawn Wave and Nate the Hate got together to do their direct Xbox podcast that they put out on Patreon. And here is a little clip talking about Persona 6 coming to platforms beyond PlayStation. More Persona content until the inevitable Persona 6 announcement someday. 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 I mean, on the plus side, from information I have heard, it does seem as though Persona 6 will be coming to the Xbox. So oh. Persona fans have that look something to look forward to. I'm not 100% sure if it's like a day and date with the PlayStation version, but considering the way the Persona games have been day and date with the multi-platform releases at this point, I'd say it may be a safe assumption to make that Persona 6 will be day and date Xbox and PlayStation. It'd be right. a really big deal if Microsoft is able to secure that on Game Pass, but I would imagine that would take mm. a lot to do. Because this would be yeah. the next mainline entry. You'd have to imagine Sony would be in a bidding war for the marketing rights to the game. Right. Whereas what Microsoft has secured so far for Game Pass has primarily just been remakes or remasters. So that may not have Sony's eye as much as the next mainline game. But, you know, if Persona 6 does come to the Xbox, that is a pretty big get. And it's kind of a compliment to the efforts Microsoft has made in Japan of becoming more relevant and working with the Japanese partners. So when the announcement does happen, that's gonna be a pretty big moment. Now that's all fine and dandy, but none of that has to do with Switch 2. That's just talking about it coming to Xbox. And he wasn't even saying it'd be day and date. It could come later down the line. Well, what if I were to tell you that, hey, another major leaguer because of this clip making it onto places like Twitter has come out to say, actually, it's coming to Switch 2. So let's go ahead and dive in over here we see that Spawn Wave himself posted the clip up. So yes, you know, if you're like, oh, did someone steal the clip from their paid Patreon? No, Spawn Wave himself put the clip up about it. And here's the fascinating part. This guy, MBKKSSTBHC5, is a well-known Sega slash Atlas leaker, a really long track record of getting a lot of stuff correct. We don't cover them often unless, because, look, Sega and Atlas don't bring everything over to Nintendo Switch, or at least they weren't in the past. They have brought some things, and here we are where he said it is correct information and multiple platforms too. Then you see this guy named Nathan. Hey, nice name. I like that one. Uh, does that include the Switch 2? And he just straight up says, yes. So obviously, again, this doesn't mean it's going to be day and date. We don't really know the plans of Persona and what's happening. What this does mean is we should be expecting this to arrive on Nintendo Switch 2 eventually. Probably, maybe if Persona 6 is this year, then obviously day and date's probably out of the question if all the rumors are true about the 2025 stuff. But I just want to throw out there that this makes a lot of sense because as I said, they bought a 
a lot of other Persona stuff over to Switch, and I think they're very happy with the sales of it. In addition, it does appear that they're trying to not be this exclusive thing with Persona anymore. For those who don't remember, Persona used to really just be on Sony platforms, occasionally PC, and they slowly started migrating older versions of the games to other platforms, Xbox, Switch, etc. They must be pretty happy with the results of doing that, so much so that, hey, we don't need to just do this for Sony. Our brand new Persona game is just gonna be on everything. And if that's the case, I fully suspect it's day and date on everything unless Sony bought like an exclusive three month window. Maybe that's still a thing, I don't know. Why not matter for Switch 2 if Persona 6 comes out before Switch 2? comes out anyways but also persona 6 might not come until next year at some point and then who knows everything's in play what i do know is it makes a lot of sense there's a lot of persona fans that happen to be on switch it was really exciting when joker was added to super smash bros ultimate that got one of the biggest reactions when that was announced and actually ended up being a more popular individual purchase character than even banjo kazooie Probably because Banjo-Kazooie hasn't been relevant in a hell of a long time, whereas Persona is actually a fairly popular franchise right now today. And we also can't be super surprised because Shin Megami Tensei 5 had timed exclusivity on Switch, and we know that Persona actually originally spun off from Shin Megami Tensei 5. The franchises are actually related to each other. So... Now, Persona is a bigger franchise than Shin Megami Tensei today, but still, this is just really exciting news, and I think all of us are just happy to see Persona 6 coming to Nintendo Switch 2 if the rumors are true. And I'm just going to say this, as we get closer and closer to the system eventually being revealed and, well, released, I think we're going to see more and more rumors like this. If you guys remember, Tom Henderson, one of the you know amazing journalists out there, said last year, uh, around September slash October, that a year from now, we're going to hear a lot about this game is also coming to Nintendo Switch 2, suggesting that Switch 2 is going to get a ton of major third-party support. And even with the system internally delayed, rumored, rumored to be internally delayed, to 2025, early 2025, maybe summer, we don't really know. The point is that that doesn't mean we're not gonna keep hearing about these games. Now, once the system's announced, there will probably be less rumors, they'll just straight up announce games for said platform. That's the thing, these companies can't publicly announce their games for Nintendo Switch 2 until Nintendo actually announces the platform. But, once that's out of the way, we're just going to see a lot of Nintendo Switch 2 logos popping up in these trailers. But that's not it. Until that, until then, we're just going to hear a lot of rumors. And I think the closer we are to reveal, the more of these rumors on third-party games we're going to see. And I'm all for it. I'm going to bring you guys each and every game that gets rumored to be coming here from reliable places, credible places. Sometimes we dabble into a little bit of questionable let's say, sources yesterday was 4chan today though is somebody with a big track record and obviously nate the hate didn't comment specifically on the switch 2 stuff but did talk about the xbox and maybe it's just because it wasn't xbox direct and you know you're trying to draw in xbox fans you're not really trying to redirect it to nintendo they literally already have the game and talk podcast plus he has his own nate the hate podcast where he does a lot of nintendo stuff as well so anyways, I'm just going to leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime, and good luck, Bucks. You got to somehow beat the Phoenix Suns today. Uh, well, well, Chris Middleton's back. You know, shout out to Mids. We, we, we're, we're rocking the Chris, the Chris Middleton jersey, but uh, Giannis is out today. So it is what it is. Good luck. Catch you guys in the next video.